kids, I'm Pearl the Mermaid, and this is my best friend Cecil the Sea Lion. Today's adventure is called Cecil's Big Secret. In it, we learn how important it is to be a loyal and trustworthy friend. And why it's important to keep your promises, no matter how hard it might be. That's right, Cecil. In today's story, Cecil makes a mistake, but chooses to be honest, tell the truth, and work hard to make things better. Cecil knows that the key to fixing any mistake is that you've got to have a plan. Like we always say, set a goal, chart a course, and make it happen. It's another beautiful day off the coast of Southern California. But even though the ocean may seem clear and calm, things are about to get very exciting. Oh my, this is so incredible. This is the most marvelous day. Hi, Inky. What's the hurry? Oh, it's so exciting. The most wonderful thing has happened. I have to tell someone or I'll positively burst. Can I trust you to keep a secret? Of course, Inky. You can count on us. Yeah, I love secrets. Oh, I really shouldn't tell anyone about this just yet, but I've just made the most exciting scientific discovery. Come with me. Inky led us through a rocky sea tunnel to an entrance hidden behind a mysterious kelp forest. It was a beautiful secret cove, one that Cecil and I had never seen before. When we popped our heads above the clear blue water, we saw a beautiful untouched shoreline covered with magnificent blue butterflies. They fluttered and floated happily through the air, sometimes landing to rest on beds of tiny yellow flowers. It was truly a magical sight. Oh, I've never seen butterflies like that before. Oh, oh my, they're so beautiful. Aren't they marvelous? They're endangered Paulos Verdes blue butterflies. Scientific name, Glaucopsyche ligamus Paulos Verdes senis. They're quite rare. In fact, no one has seen blue butterflies like this around here for many, many years. Whoa. Whoa. That's why I can't tell anyone about them just yet. I need time to study the butterflies, and I don't want any of our other sea friends to scare them away. Promise you won't tell anyone about them? I promise. Me too! But even though Cecil meant well, it wasn't long before he forgot about his promise to Inky. He was so excited about the butterflies that when he saw his friend Marina the dolphin later that day, he just couldn't keep the secret. Marina, I saw something incredible today. There's a secret cove behind the kelp forest that's filled with the prettiest blue butterflies I've ever seen. Inky said they're endangered and really, really rare. Wow, endangered butterflies. That's amazing. Can I tell my pot about it? Sure. Just make sure you tell them it's a secret. But secrets have a funny way of traveling. Marina told the news about the butterflies to the rest of her pod. Her pod described the butterflies to a school of mackerel. The school of mackerel told their seagull friends. Soon, everyone up and down the coast knew all about Inky's butterflies. Turns out the secret cove wasn't so secret anymore. The next day, Inky arrived at the cove only to find things were very different from how he left them. All of the pretty yellow flowers were trampled and the butterflies were gone. Oh no, the butterflies have all flown away. What happened? I think I did something bad. I kind of, sort of, might have told a friend about the butterflies. She told her friends and they told their friends too. They all must have come here for a closer look and accidentally scared the butterflies away. Oh no! I'm so sorry. I was so excited about the butterflies I just couldn't help it. It's all my fault that the butterflies are gone. You trusted me with a big secret, Inky. And I made a big mistake. I promise to make things better. I know you will, Cecil. I believe in you. Cecil made a plan and worked very hard, hoping that Inky would forgive and trust him again. A few days later, Inky agreed to meet Cecil again at the secret cove. Cecil had a very big surprise for Inky. The butterflies were back again. The butterflies are back. I can't believe it. Cecil, how did you make this happen? The blue butterflies seemed to like the yellow flowers. I thought maybe if I planted some more, the butterflies would come back. After I planted the flowers, I built rock walls to protect the plants and keep the butterflies safe. I even put up a sign reminding our sea friends to be extra careful around the shore. Oh, 
Inky, I'm so sorry for what happened. I hope you can forgive me. Of course, Diesel. Creating a safe place for these endangered butterflies is important. And building this habitat is such an excellent plan. Thank you. I can't wait to start my research. Well done, Cecil. I'm so proud of you. So there you have it. If you want to be a trustworthy friend, it's important to keep your word. But mistakes happen. When they do, be honest, take responsibility for your actions, and make a plan to make things better. And remember, if someone asks you to keep a secret, always use your best judgment. If a secret makes you feel unsafe or you think a friend is in danger, it's important to tell an adult right away. Part of being trustworthy is knowing when a secret needs to be kept and when it needs to be shared. If you take that lesson to heart, you can be a trustworthy friend just like Cecil. All you have to do is set a goal, chart a course, and make it happen. Send Dollar Savings Club.